Hi, I'm Greg and this is Raven Pie Art Studio. I'm going to take you to Cisco's laboratory and she's going to demonstrate how to solve Damar resin. She'll tell you more about that. But in the meantime, I'd like to show you our laboratory. She left it out of the studio tour as she did and I think it's pretty cool up here. So here we go. And get these down. So when the fun begins. Alright. Got a few different things, some of our paintings still here and There it is, and hey Cisco, you ready? Just about. Okay, give me a second. All right. So, I'm ready. You ready? Um, so, um, okay, yeah. I did, just, just one second. Let me just get. Are you you're focusing on the materials here, or? Oh yes, yeah, so I'm. Okay. okay, that's perfect then. All right, so uh, Damar resin is uh, it's most commonly used for making a finishing varnish for your paintings. It's also used for making mediums. Um, this is a first step video for working with this, and that's solving the resin. Uh, I'm also going to start a solve of wax. Damar has a tendency to get kind of shiny, so I like to uh, put wax with all my finished Damar products uh, or materials. So what you'll need is about seven ounces of Damar, one ounce of pure beeswax, and ten ounces of turpentine for the Damar, and another two ounces for the wax. I have some suggestions in the notes as to where you can get these of good quality and at a fair price. So first, uh, weigh out seven ounces of uh, Damar. They're going to come in pieces like this, but they need to be a little bit smaller. So you put them in here, and you just smash them. They, they break up real easily because they're very brittle, and you just do that until they're all in pieces no larger than about this this big. About that big. Okay, so I've already smashed up seven ounces and put it in this jar. And then along with that, I'm going to put in the 10 ounces of turpentine. Okay. Now you swish it around. And then you put a double, double cheesecloth over the top. Don't put a lid because the vapors uh, will just warp the lid and it'll be kind of messy. So put that aside. And then you take another jar. And uh, now you take and uh, just, just shave off the uh, wax into pieces uh, like this. So I've already got my ounce of wax here that I've shaved off of there. Beeswax. <clears throat> and then I'm going to put in the two ounces of turpentine. Alright. And then the cheesecloth and a ring for the top. Okay, you take both of these and you put them in a place like a cabinet and uh, that's out of the way and uh, keep in mind the flash point of turpentine which is about 93 degrees and also the vapors when you make your decision as to where to put these. Uh, every day or so you take them out and you just swish them around like this and it's going to take about two weeks for it to solve. Um, it, it more or less. It depends on a lot of different variables, how long it's going to take. You know when it's done, when um, there's no longer any solid pieces. You have just um, a liquid, a kind of a syrupy liquid that's kind of the consistency of honey, and that's going to be the same 
for both of these. The wax will probably finish before the Damar does. If it does, just leave it in there and wait till they're both finished. In approximately two weeks when mine's done, I'm going to do another video showing how to make the varnishes and what and the mediums from these materials that you solved. In the meantime, uh, take look for uh, some videos that we'll be making of how to make your own oil colors. Okay.